It's your favorite time of the week. Time for the only segment in boxing that gives you the facts and makes you laugh. It's Clapback Thursdays, motherfuckers. All right, we took a week off since news was slow, but this week is a whole different story. This is long overdue, but I had to get the legal facts in order before clapping back. A few weeks ago, the Haley's filed a lawsuit in the state of New York against my fighter, Ryan Garcia. For battery, fraud, and breach of contract. The Haley's also named my company Golden Boy Promotions in the lawsuit because they want a full accounting of Devin's fight against Ryan. In other words, they want to see my book. They don't believe the fact that Garcia Haney only did a little over 300,000 homes and they've been paid what they are owed. They want more money that doesn't exist. Number one, Bill. Bruh. We live in the same fancy neighborhood in Henderson. You could have knocked on my door and simply asked to see my book. Bruh. We have told you over and over that this fight just didn't sell. Bruh. Those are the facts. Number two. You guys are suing Ryan Garcia for battery? You do know your son Devin is a professional fighter, right? His livelihood is based on battering other opponents. This has to be the lamest claim I've ever seen in the four decades I've been involved in this sport. And now, Bill, you're going to say that Ryan was doped up for the fight. The traces of Austrian was so minute that professionals have said it didn't even matter or make a difference. The truth is simple. That your son couldn't block the left hook. He couldn't stay on his feet with those nasty Uggs he was wearing. And he couldn't handle Ryan Garcia. Point blank. I know you're going to respond by trying to clown me with Oscar De La Ho and Oscar De La Fishnets and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> But we are all still waiting to hear the facts from you, Bill, because we all watched that fight and we can't unsee it. Oh, no, no. And just when we thought things couldn't get any worse for my buddy Eddie Hearn, Bruh. they did. Bruh. Dimitri Bill suffered his first loss last weekend, mm. further proving that the matchroom curse is a real thing. But before we get into the enormous L, mm -hmm. let's check out what Eddie Hearn had to say about Clapback Thursdays. I liked his one last night. I mean, probably that video took the entire day and the editing was really good. I mean, it did make me quite horny. Yeah, you're horny? Lucy makes you horny? Disgusted. 14 main event fighters of yours lost this year. Bruh. That has to be some kind of record. <laughs> Look, despite the horrible things people say about you, I don't dislike you. I'm just pointing out the facts that you're unable to do your job. I don't care if people say you're a giant douche Bruh. and silver spoon fed trust fund loser. Bruh. I just think you're a horrible promoter. Bruh. And you've proven me to be correct. Gotcha, bitch. I don't know how much longer your funding will last considering you've built absolutely nothing. Bruh. But it's not my problem. Bruh. There are two months left to redeem yourself in 2024, Eddie. I believe in you. Well, actually, I don't. Oh, and Canelo, fuck you. Remember, guys, you're never a hater if you only speak the facts.